what was that like? How big do you think that was? Um, I think at the moment, I was just really pissed we were losing to uh, Miami. So I remember not being happy with our team. And I was in the huddle kind of just fussing like, we got to come on, we got to close this gap. And so um, and I was talking about it was going to start on defense. And so that was kind of what happened before we came out and uh, we were on defense and my teammate got that um, pass and she outlet it to me. And I'm like, I was trying to think of what I could do to inspire my teammates. Really, uh, was what, that was what was in my head. And so I'm like, I got to go for it, you know. So she, she threw it to me and, and I dunked it. And then after I dunked it, I think the magnitude of it just sort of was like, oh, yeah, I dunked it. Like I dunked it. I did it without thought. But then once I dunked it, I was realized like, wow, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure you you had done it many, many times not in a game. Well, I had done it in summer leagues and things like that, but not what's considered in, official. In a WNBA, WNBA game. game, yes. Right. I'm sure you'd done it before. Yes. So when people made a big deal of it, do you think it was a big deal? Um, I, I did because I, I felt like at that time in the league in 2001, two, uh, we would always have the naysayers that we were in media sort of like, well, the, the women's game, yeah, they play good, but they can't dunk. So I'm like, dude. Even if we dunk, it doesn't make a difference because by the time the NBA gets to the playoffs, how many dunks did we see? Um, not many. Right. It came. It comes down to execution, and so because we play basketball sort of the right way, people talk about talked about. You know, we didn't have the dunk. Now we have women dunking all over the place. It's like still doesn't matter. Who's the best you ever played against? Ooh, one player, the yeah. best ever. The one that you just remember when you played against this. I would probably have to say a list of people: Diana Taurasi. Um, Cynthia Cooper. I always think about the positions that I didn't play that we couldn't stop them. And I'm like, we're going to lose because we can't shut that one player down. And it's been probably those two players who were just unstoppable. So then give me the Mount Rushmore of women's basketball. The Mount Rushmore. Wow. I would say Cheryl Miller, Cheryl Swoops, Diana Taurasi. Um, am I on there? You, can, you can absolutely put yourself on there. Wow. And then the last one. Wow. That's kind of tough. Um, well, I mean, you would make the fourth. That's it. That was four, yeah, but we it. need a fifth player. No, you just four. Just, just give four. me the four, yeah. Oh, okay, Top cool. four. There you go. If you want to give a fifth, go go for it. Uh, I would say Katrina McLean. Okay. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.